object specific grip options. If we select an arc and we select it out on the end here for example, when I hit the space bar I get the move and this rotate etc. But when I'm in the stretch I get two options of the stretch. I get lengthen I get lengthen and I get stretch. So in the stretch I can just swivel it over and make the arc longer. Now when I select an arc and I select it by the, the middle point, now I get two totally different options. Based on the object type and which grip it is, I actually get the radius or the stretch. We just saw the stretch, but I can actually go the radius and I can change the radius, say down here to a small radius or up here to a large radius like 5.7. So I'll, I'll set, it, set it to a large like 5.7 and I can set my radius that way. So depending on the object we get different object sensitive uh, grips. When I select on a multi-line text, I can change the boundary width. I grab a hole of this over here, I mean the column width, and I can change my column width. And I can adjust that how I want it. Also, I can change the boundary width on the bottom. I can move it up and it creates extra columns in this case. So I can move both these and I'm changing the boundary of my text. Okay. And I can also come over here and pick on this one. And this actually allows me to move it. I can actually go in in here and uh, and pick the move if I want this way. Now I got ended up with two columns. I can grab a hold of the bottom one, stretch it down, bring it back to one column. When I make this one hot, I select it. I can do a few things with it, uh, but basically I can move it around. I get these two over here uh, that allow me to stretch my boundaries to however I want them. And that's very handy when using the uh, the MTEX, MTEX when I'm editing it. Editing it.